The youngest ever to win an undisputed title and the current WBC light welterweight champion Devin Haney is on track in becoming a future Hall of Famer. The Las Vegas native has an impressive record of 31 fights unbeaten with names such as Lomachenko, Progras, Cambosis and Linares being a few names that Haney has on his record. But let's go back in time and see how this fighter became one of boxing's best today. Haney first came onto the scene as a young 12 year old prodigy, his hand speed, reflexes and most importantly his boxing IQ made the boxing world think who is this future prodigy? With a supportive dad in his corner Haney moved to the boxing city of Las Vegas. Haney was already making some serious noise by uploading his sparring sessions and dropping experienced pros. His amateur career was impressive having won 130 fights and only losing 8 times. He had 3 impressive wins over the world famous Ryan Garcia. After winning more multiple titles. Haney was the favourite to represent his country in the 2016 Olympics in Rio but Haney took another route and turned professional at only the age of 16. Being 16 it was hard for Haney to get a license to fight in the US so Haney had to fight tough seasoned pros in Mexico. Being a young teenager Haney showed his class and outboxed every fighter that was put in front of him and earned himself a great reputation in Mexico but every Every fighter's dream is the headline in the states and that's what Haney was aiming for. In his fifth fight Haney got the opportunity to fight in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas against Rafael Vasquez where Haney got the unanimous decision win. Haney then got the green light to fight in the states and got a few more good wins onto his record. The big fight came in his 14th fight when Haney got a chance to fight for the WBC Youth World title against Tawala in Mexico. Haney made quick work of Tuala by stopping him in 4 rounds to claim the WBC youth title. Haney then added the USBA lightweight title to his arsenal when he stopped Mason Menard in 9 rounds. In his very next fight Haney also added the IBF North American belt by gaining a unanimous decision victory over Juan Carlos Bogos. But then in his next 2 fights he also added the WBO intercontinental title and the WBA international lightweight title. At just the age of 20 Haney had already racked up numerous different professional titles but the current unified lightweight champion Lomachenko was who Haney was targeting. Lomachenko had other plans though and with Haney being the number one contender for his WBC title Loma had no choice but to face the 21 year old. Lomachenko however was eyeing the undisputed title so he went on to face the current IBF champion Teofimo Lopez. This gave Haney the chance to fight for the interim belt against Abuse and Haney made short work of this opponent by stopping him within 4 rounds. After this fight the newly crowned undisputed champion Teofimo Lopez had to fight Haney but he didn't choose to fight him which made Haney the legitimate WBC champ. Haney then went on to defend his belt against his mandatories which included the Olympic gold medalist Gamboa. This was Haney's first fight against the name the whole boxing world knew and Haney outpointed the more experienced and more technical boxer. Haney then went on to put an impressive performance against Linares and Jojo Diaz but and this is a big but in these fights Haney did get rocked and got rocked quite badly and the boxing world was questioning the chin of this American prodigy. After the wins over Linares and Jojo Diaz Haney got the opportunity to fight for the undisputed crown against the newly crowned unified champion Australian's very own ferocious George Cambosis. Haney accepted all the terms Cambosis sent in the contract which included a strict weighing policy, a rematch clause for Cambosis only and the rematch had to take place in Australia. Haney accepted all these challenges and the fight took place in the Marvel Stadium in front of 40,000 fans. Haney had little support but none of that matters when you're in the squared circle. The fight was not even close. Haney's jab was just too much for the ferocious aggressive boxer from Australia. Haney's ability to evade the punches, land his very own power punches and control the ring gave him the unanimous decision victory against all the odds against 40,000 fans. Haney showed his greatness and gained the undisputed title. Only the little age of 20 
23, Haney achieved what only a few fighters have done in this generation and this win even got him on the pound for pound list. After the win, Haney had to give Cambosis a rematch, but this fight was just like the first fight but this time, it was the right hand that gave Haney the victory. This punch was landing throughout the entire fight and it caused a lot of problems for Cambosis. Haney scored yet another 12 round unanimous decision victory over Cambosis in his hometown, but this time, not only did he win the fight, but he actually gained a lot of fans as well. After this fight, it was set Haney vs Lomachenko for the undisputed title in Las Vegas. This has to be Haney's hardest fight to date and why wouldn't it be? The man who he was going to face is a former three division world champion who dominated nearly every opponent he has faced in the ring. The fight was set to take place in Las Vegas in the famous MGM Grand. The fight turned out to be closely contested with both men finding success. Lomachenko scoring with clean combinations to the head while Haney counted consistently with solid body shots. Late in the fight, Lomachenko became increasingly dominant, finding particular success in the 10th and 11th rounds. However, Haney railed to win the final round, which then led on to Haney winning a very close unanimous decision. But fighters such as Shakur Stevenson, who came into the ring, thought that this fight was a robbery. Lomachenko should be undisputed champion, he won. Wow. As well as the majority of the boxing world thinking that the fight with Haney and Lomachenko was one of the biggest robberies this sport has ever seen. Regardless of the result and the accusations, the fight and the performances of both men were widely praised. To the Lomachenko win, the boxing world didn't know if Haney was going to defend his belts or if he was going to move up to the 140 division. But everyone knew that Haney was struggling to make the 135 limit and he looked very drained in all of his ways. So Haney made the smart decision to move up and face current 140 WBC champion, the hard-hitting Regis Progress. This fight took place in Haney's hometown of Oakland. In front of a sold-out arena, Haney put on a boxing masterclass, which included a knockdown, as well as multiple scenes of Progress getting rocked and stumbled. Moving to 140 was a great choice for Haney, as he is now able to produce some serious power punches. Haney he came out with a wide unanimous decision victory and became a two division world champion. David Haney has proved to the boxing world time and time again that he is one of the best on the planet but there are still fighters out there such as Javonte Davis, Shako Stevenson and even Teofimo Lopez who Haney will have to fight one day. Can David Haney continue his race to greatness or will one of these fighters finally beat him? We will just have to wait and see.